fur, furs. Um, as a kid, I always wanted to wear my mom's gray leather Halston heeled slouch boots. Oh, yeah. I didn't feel like I could pull them off. Um, today, I self-identify as a trans woman, and I don't really care how other people read me. I think the either-or either or choice for gender is completely arbitrary and silly, and um, I love my body. Woo! Thank you. You guys are an amazingly beautiful audience, by the way. This is, this is gorgeous. Um, so, we're talking today about presentation and visibility, and what I want to talk to you about today is... Um, Visibility is why we're here, and by gathering and marching, we show the world our strength and our beauty. Visibility for men, many in the gender variant community is not an option. Many of us, because of the face we show the world, are made more visible than our cisgendered counterparts. And that can make us more prone to danger. In passing, we run the risk of being found out, as if we were trying to keep a secret and can also put us in harm's way. Being gender variant in the world is two-sided in this way. With the power of making a statement, as we do today, and as well as placing us under a microscope of sc scrutiny. I have lived in this world for 32 years. The first 30 of those I passed as male. For 15 of those, I lived as a visibly queer man. And for the last two, I have given up my passing rights as male to be happy. Yeah. I'm happy about it. Um, as a queer man, I suffered plenty of oppressive language and physical harassment, and it always shook me, but I took it and rolled with it. The last two years has shown me how afraid the world is of those who do not follow the rules of gender. The things that I have heard said about me sadly, would probably not be a surprise to most of you here today. Some of them are... Some of them are... Faggot. Freak. It. That. And those people. <laughs> These are the politest of the negative things that I've heard to describe me. We hear these things said about us for not conforming to gender norms, and we are forced to roll with it. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. What I want to talk to you about today is the sticks and stones. This year after the Pride Parade, in the Pearl, in the middle of the afternoon, with families and children everywhere, I was attacked. I was with my best friend, her mother, and her son of five years old, when a man attacked me for not conforming to gender norms. He said he would find me, and he said he would kill me. I froze. And thankfully, I made it out of that afternoon relatively physically unharmed. I am alive, and I see, myself, see myself lucky for it. In the days that followed, though, I became more and more afraid. He said he would find me. He said he would kill me. If I could get attacked in broad late daylight in downtown, where was I safe? A close friend of mine is trained in martial arts for the past four years and has recently been learning how to teach women self-defense classes. I called him and asked him if he would teach me what to do so that I wouldn't freeze. I cried, and I fought, and I began to learn how to keep myself safe. And from that backyard lesson, I started to feel a little safer in the world. I talked with him about how I never wanted what happened to me to happen to anyone else again. And I asked him if there was any way we could start to put together a queer trans self-defense class. <clears throat> I've heard about self-defense self-defense classes for women for years. 
But what about the other people who are close to me, who suffer oppressive violence? From that day grew a project in which I'm very, very proud of, and that is Queer Trans Self-Defense. Queer Trans Self-Defense had our first three-hour training on July 25th at the Q Center. Some of the people who trained there are here today. Um, and the overwhelming response from participants was, we want more. I and the other facilitators and trainers are committed to these classes being a safe space for all gender variant and queer folk, to being body positive and ability focused. I want to see all of us safe and happy. You can find out more information about upcoming events um, for self-defense classes, for de-escalation trainings on Facebook. Look up Queer Trans Self-Defense and join the group there. You can also email me at qtsdpdx at gmail.com. Again, that's qtsdpdx at gmail.com. Feel free to find me today for more information about upcoming classes at the end of September. We have the right to feel safe in our city. We have the right to show the world our beauty and our power and our strength without the threat of oppressive violence. We march today to increase visibility and to help make this city a safer place for all of us and everyone else. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful march.